We're back in orbit around Mars with the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. These anomalies are spotted at a site west of Seuss in a region of Mars called Terra Chimeria. Lots in this one, let's get cracking on. The high-rise photograph is called Sand Dunes, acquired on the 31st of October 2007 at 24.8 centimeters per pixel. One by one binning was used. The images are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, just over one gigabyte in size. There's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies I'll be showing you in this feature are scattered about across this region. And the site we're looking at is right here folks at approximately 67 degrees 6 minutes south, 171 degrees 0 minutes east. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies at sites close by towards the end of the video. Right there in the center we're looking at this strange block or slab. It's about 6 meters across and it seems to have a disc-like anomaly on the top. Also looks like this might be a wrecked sheet metal, who knows guys. Maybe highly eroded slab or block. We're looking at the strange anomaly on this piece which is about 8 meters across and it's also got the strange oval part on the top. It looks almost like a open hatch part there seems to be broken off the larger piece so this has got like a tombstone shape to it we're looking at the anomaly right there folks this is about eight meters across and uh, it's also got these well-defined edges right angles to it and then this strange almost triangular part right there on top in its center we're looking at that strange block this looks like a sculpted piece folks that's about 10 to 12 meters long and uh, it's got multiple layers to it if i could call it that Look at the right angles on the top and then this piece over here seems to be like a protrusion or half a disc sticking out of the top. I wonder what that could be. Could it be a sculpted item like a monument or a statue perhaps or could it be a structure? We're looking at the strange layering in this part. It's about 10 meters long. And it's got two layers to it. Right angles, yeah. And then a small disc-like feature on the top. Then we're looking at a partial dome. I don't know what this could be folks but it's about 12 meters across it's got this convex shape to it almost like a half a dome you could say or a half a sphere and then on the side of here looks like a square raised part various blurred what looked like piping on it as well Then we get to the megalithic blocks in this photograph. This one's about six meters long. And uh, the customary right angles to it. Smooth, flat surfaces. Looks almost as if there's a bevel running around the one side. Smaller block in this one, it's about four meters across. And again, the 
right angles, straight sides. It's almost got like a cylindrical arc shape to the top. Two smaller raised areas over there on the center line. Another megalithic block sticking out there, folks, about six meters long. Check out the straight edges and right angle once again. And then we're looking at one of two blocks that are very similar. This one over here is about seven to eight meters long. And uh, it's got these smooth, flat sides slightly rounded corner of here and then what looks like a carved in side of here and that seems to be the case on that block as well which is about 10 meters long so a rounded design to it uniform width and then the carved out side. This looks like a monolith and it's about 12 meters long. Again the uniform width to the sides. And it's got this diagonal part like a step to it running across the surface check out the right angles again this is a rather odd piece as well it looks highly eroded and it's about 12 by 12 meters in size it stands out here is the flat sides right angles uniformity in the width on the side of this piece looks almost as if there's another block lying at the bottom of this one sort of lying diagonally across it or could this be a multiple step structure almost like a ziggurat or a step pyramid he has a cluster of blocks over here, folks. We'll zoom in on those. Check out the straight edges, right angles, and uniform widths to these blocks. It's another block with a rounded design to it. Looks like this was part of a structure that was blown apart. It's very rare that we see blocks still in a cluster or a pile close to one another. There's another block over there, about six meters long. Uniform width to it, right angles and straight edges. Here's a very interesting block over here, guys. It's only about 3 by 3 meters in size, but this raised dome-like protrusion or knob in the center is very interesting as well. It's almost got like a pyramid or a rhombic shape to it. And then we're zooming in on the item of here to the top left. It's also got this rounded design to it seems to be hollow or hollowed out with this part in the center could this be also a stepped or layered item and then the rectangular part of here to the left so it breaks up very badly in the close-up long narrow block in this one Check that out, it's about 6 meters long and it's got this slot or bevel on the one side. Uniform 
with once again. Long narrow piece of here reminds me of uh, a column or a type of a obelisk. Who knows, guys? It's about nine meters long. Check this out. Maybe it's got a slight curvature to it. It's difficult to tell. Right, let's zoom down to the site west of Seuss, which is located right there. And the photograph we checked out, Sand Dunes. As always, I'll include the link to the page in the description below. Let's have a brief look at those anomalies once again. And the similarity between these blocks and blocks we find it rains here on earth is absolutely uncanny right let's go to a couple of more sites around this region this is where I found these strange most like pyramidal anomalies this is an illustration I did of what these look like when you zoom in on them. If I can recall correctly, they're about 160 meters long. It's got this dark material seems to be ejected out of these structures onto the surface. Let's go to the site up to the north. This is west of Cronius Mons. Looks like a wreck. Check out the block of here. Also has like a disc on the one side. It's difficult to tell for sure because the this is a direct look straight down onto the anomalies perpendicular views left to see side views also this looks like some type of wreckage very similar to that two parts seem to fit together and then more megalithic blocks these are about six to eight meters in length and uh, let's say head on over to the west this is near Ulysses Rupes where we find a very weird anomaly it looks almost like a face mask it's got this dome like appearance and a skirt with uniform width running around the edge so it looks like partially open hatch on that thing three parts equally spaced in a row on the side of that block highly irregular I would say another dome like part looks like a small disc with a dome on it lying on its side on that block check it these located right in the center of those objects two protrusions next to one another on those two blocks broken up slabs possibly over here to get the pattern on that it's like a rounded design it's a convex in shape triangular raised part there slightly carved in very strange part 
at the protrusions there on this thing. Right there in the center of that item. Looks like a sphere lying on top of that block. Check out the long narrow piece sticking over the edge of that block. Seen a similar slab or block to this on uh, Bennu with the Osiris Rex mission on the asteroid. Lots of slabs and blocks on that asteroid. One, two, three, four, five sides to that. It's almost like a pyramid shape as well. Again, look at the location of those two small parts. Right in the center of those blocks. This like anomalies over here. Another partial disk seems to be embedded in the side of this, or could it be on top of a block? As always, let's have a chat in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, thank you for your support and viewership. To my new subscribers, welcome on board. Take care everybody, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.